Hello again, my friends. I welcome you to another video featuring vintage Halloween little toys and goodies. I got another little goodie to share with you. Um, vintage in the fact that it's probably from the early 90s. It would be nice if it was from the early 50s. <laughs> what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you a Night Fright. It's actually a lantern. It's a spooky jack-o'-lantern type lantern designed to walk around with you during trick-or-treating on Halloween night. You can see Fright Night Light. He lights up. And let's see. Got an on and off switch and requires two CC batteries not included. Not recommended for children under five years of age. You can see him smiling at you. And the real vintage ones from the 50s or maybe earlier were actually made of glass and I'd love to get my hands on a couple of those especially if they're in their packaging but those are really expensive if you can find them so this one was a dollar ninety nine and I'm sure they're more expensive if they even still do these nowadays you see the sides of the box pretty basic just a night light fright and on the back of the box you have the logo, it looks like CT, the light up gallery, fright, night, light. Turn the base counterclockwise or remove is shown. Insert the two C batteries, you can see. And lift up the top by pulling the metal ring before clear plastic is shown. Use a standard two, 2.5 volt batteries. So, I don't see, uh, I'll do some research and if I can get the date, because I like putting up the exact date for you guys. Um, I want to say 96, but I'm not sure. You can see on the barcode, the last numbers are 96, but I'm not sure. This is item 48561. So let's go ahead and we'll put the camera on a tripod and we'll take it out of the box and light it up. Okay, let's get this little guy out of the box. You can see. They packaged things really well back in the day. Got some clear plastic on top. And there's no paperwork or anything, so let's put that aside. I'll show you guys the lantern. You can see the switch. And you can see, let's see, open and close, made in China, and there's no date on the actual unit itself. Not that I can see, anyway. Like I said, I'll put the date up um, when I research it and get it better. Like I said, it's early 90s, mid 90s. So let's put the batteries in. So you rotate the bottom base, and you can see we are going to insert two C batteries, and again, I like the Duracells. Just like that. You put the cover back on. You can put it into the slots, and you turn it clockwise. So now, he's all set. You can either hang him for your spooky Halloween haunt, you can take him with you while trick-or-treating. You can see it's got kind of like a keychain on the top. And let's put him on. Ooh, he looks spooky. Then you can hang him, hang him up on your display. So if you want to remove, if you want to change the light, See, you can pull it up, and then the pumpkin comes out. And when you pull it, when you let it go, the string, the spring inside keeps tension on the battery uh, pack and the pumpkin to keep them in place. So that's if you want to change the bulb. So let's light them up again. And let's put them down, and I'll bring you closer to them so you can get a better look at them. 
Okay. You can see his switch is right in the front, pretty basic. This is like some of those perfect things that we remember having as a kid. The little lanterns. You guys remember the little one with the handle where it had the same kind of pumpkin on top and it was like a flashlight handle and you can push the button and put them on and he'd be the jack-o'-lantern on top. Let's give you a little side view of him. Again, I like to keep things in good condition. Um, it's in the box still. I think I had him hanging in my band room a long time ago. I'm not sure. I think he was over the drums. We had like a drop ceiling. And what it was was like a layout. I had a black light. And I had a lot of Halloween stuff that I would keep. Just because I thought it looked cool in the band room. And I think he was hanging from the drop ceiling. You can see the other side. And as the years went by, you could, um, we had a lot of fun with the kids and they'd play with it. And He's surprisingly still in good shape, considering. Show you the bottom. You can see we open and close it. And show in the top, or you pull on this right here, like I said, you pull up on a spring and that releases the tension and you can take out the plastic part to change the light bulb. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Hopefully this kind of brought you back to your childhood a little bit. And I hope you uh, having a great Halloween season. Here in New England, the leaves are just starting to change. So it's, let's see, October 11th. I think it's October 11 today, and the leaves are starting to change, and we had a lot of rain, so we should have a really nice fall with the foliage. So, my friends, I hope you're having a great October, wherever you live, and I'll see you again real soon in another little goodie for Halloween.